Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Bucharest, which is the capital and the largest city of Romania. And this is a city that's exciting, there's amazing food here, the people are friendly and hospitable. And today we're gonna go on a Romanian food tour of Bucharest. We're gonna eat a lot of delicious food and go around the city, see some of the sights, and I'm gonna share this entire experience with you, everything we do today in this video. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> Before we start eating today, quick television interview. Okay, thank okay. you. <laughs> thank you very much. Here we go. TV interview complete. I think it went well. <laughs> Next step. <laughs> Next step. We're on our way to the market now to start eating. Okay, here we are. First place. So I think that this whole area is part of the market. We passed some cheese stalls, we passed some bakeries. We're going kind of to the back of the market where you can already see the, the smoke coming, the smoke pouring into the air, and the, the mute, meat fumes are in the air. You can feel it. This is fantastic, full outdoor market. There's cabinets of cured meats and cheeses. There's vegetables, there's chilies, there's eggplants. All of the ingredients uh, needed for Romanian cuisine. Met up with the whole crew, the whole team. We're gonna start walking around the market and look at some of the vegetables, see some of the products, see some of the amazing ingredients first before we eat, actually. And what's so cool about Bucharest, um, and of course any major city in the country, the capital city, the largest city, is that it brings together the ingredients, the foods from around the country. And so you see all of the different produce, the grapes, the apples, the pears, but the grapes are beautiful. There's just so much of a diversity of ingredients and such beautiful, fresh produce, um, and herbs and spices and everything. You can get everything at this market. On this indoor section of the market also, there's um, more and more herbs and vegetables, the dill, the horseradish, the parsnips uh, that go into Romanian cuisine, but it's all really fresh. It's Nassim is handing me a, a chili to taste. <laughs> a morning chili for breakfast. Okay, thank you, Nassim. Mm. Oh yeah, this, one, this yeah. one's great. Oh, that's a little wake up call. That needs to be followed by some meat juices. I'm impressed by the different variety and the, the quality and the quantity of chilies that they have in Romania, which is something I wouldn't have guessed, I wouldn't have known. And he is giving us a variety of different chilies. Oh, those are beautiful. Oh my god. We can eat it with the. Uh, save it to eat it with the meat. Yeah, yeah. This is as fresh of grape juice as you could possibly get. It's just like mashed grapes in this barrel. And the juice is just dripping out into this tub. If you could smell the condensed like grape aroma, it smells like grape candy. It's just liquid grape candy. That smells incredible. Oh, he's taking the grapes now. And then that just goes straight from the tub to the bottle spilled. So that's, you know what you're getting. It is as fresh as possible. No preservation, just pure squished grapes. Oh wow. Yeah, that is so fresh. I mean, 
essentially that's the same thing as eating grapes. Just they're already pretty squeezed for you in your mouth. Mm. I don't think it's a contest, but and not to that's mention, <laughs> not to mention just the the sweetness and like beauty of those grapes naturally. Oh man, it almost tastes like blueberries. No possibility of greater grape juice than that. Okay, and then coming into the upstairs floor of the market, it's a lot of meats, a lot of salamis and cheeses, and even like more like indoor businesses, gourmet ingredients, Ooh. steaks and things, and then bakeries and spices. Something that's impressed me about Romanian food are all the different spices that go into the cooking. And I mean, some dishes are not like overpowering with spice, but then it is present, you do taste it, and because of the history, because of the trade, because of the different influences that have made, that have been a part of Romania, the, the cuisine, there's such a diversity of spices and ingredients from this entire region of the world. Deer pastrami. Oh yeah. Oh, well, that has a texture to it, and you taste chili and pepper in there as well. Wild pork? Okay. Also pastrami. Oh yeah. Totally different texture, with that like salty juiciness that comes out of it. And again, that crust with the pepper, like the fruity pepper taste to it. Next up is a goat, like a sausage. Oh wow. Oh, that's wonderful. Like similar to a goat salami. Oh yeah. That's juicy and tasty. Next up is the ham. Special type of Romanian cheese that's made in a bark of, an, of a type of evergreen tree. You slice it open and it's like a whole cup of cheese. Very like milky. Mmm. Oh, that has a totally different flavor. It's, yeah, woody, but like, kind of fruity tasting and kind of has like a, a bit of an acidity to it. That's, that is special, a very special cheese. Next up, it's like a whole roll up of pig skin. There's like layer upon layer of pig skin just wrapped into like a loaf and then she slices off a whole roll. You get pig skin. I think it's very also common to eat during holidays. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. That is definitely pigskin. It's a little little chewy and rubbery, smoky. A little rubber bandy, but good flavor coming out of it with every bend. Come now to, uh, he has some different berries, some strawberries, some blueberries, some raspberries. The raspberries look so good, and these are local raspberries. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. They're so sweet and so juicy. And then the other thing I want to try is... Whoa. Mm -hmm. It's called katin, katin I think. But yeah, that's just like bitter and juicy and mm, I like it. I like it, it's almost like alcoholic tasting. I don't think I've ever had this anywhere, but after, from what I understand, after the rose blooms, this is kind of like what's left at the bottom possibly, but it's, it's like a rose fruit. Seed? Oh, the, the, the seeds. Okay. So only eat the skin around. So don't eat the seeds. <laughs> mm, okay, but the fruit around the outside is... It's just kind of like slightly sweet, a little bit acidic, and kind of like starchy tasting. <laughs> Already in line. <laughs> yes. And they have the soundtrack going to like get you in the mood for eating. But normally, they said, especially on the weekends, if you come here, the line probably goes all the way back, all the way stretching around. But that's good for us today because it's not that busy yet. Come, come, Thank Mark. you very much. Hey, awesome. Mark. Nice Mark. to meet you. My name is Adrian, Mark. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a Romanian, you're American. Awesome. That's okay. <laughs> this is Mitch. Beautiful. Yeah. And this Very nice to meet you. <laughs> yes. My friend. Thank you for okay. having us. Okay. Oh, we're about to see that. The meat on the grill. <laughs> thank you, thank you. This is Romanian. Friendship Amazing. and Amazing. brotherhood. Amazing. Okay. And here it is, the legendary meat 
of Bucharest. This is the spot to eat, Mitch. And they're little small little formations, little rolls of meat which grill over charcoal so they're smoky. Oh, you can smell the, the aroma coming out of them. I'm inside of the grill actually. That is a combination of beef and pork on the grill. Thank you. <laughs> Beer and Mitch. Beer and Mitch is a must, right? It's okay. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, Norok. 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 Norok in Romania. Norok. This is the taste. And that needs some salty meat. This is meat. To go with it. Hi, <laughs> this is meat. <laughs> what a spot. What a, an amazing crew here. Oh, I love this place. This is the only way that <laughs> Romanian people are taking their hangover. Oh, oh, sure. oh yeah. That's... Take Mark. Wow. Thank hey. you. Best of <laughs> Yes, Mark, it's a pickle juice barrel. So there's cabbage just like fermenting in there. That is quite a, quite an aroma that erupted out of this and it's dip in. It's like La Rochie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That's uh, the salty, guys, briny. The guys from uh, the, the terrace yeah. are starting drinking, drinking, drinking. After that, is is picking Drink them. pickle juice. That'll like lift your you up. That's for sure. That's like fermented and cabbagey. Mm. Yeah, there, there are a lot of things inside. And he's sneaking up. He's sneaking up <laughs> with a beer you. tray. Yeah. <laughs> oh man! Six beers. What a man! Yeah. This is like a one meter beer. <laughs> this is a, 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 some some super for. Yes. He comes with a a flower planter of six beers. Yeah, okay. <laughs> one for okay. me. It's good. <laughs> oh. This is this is the attitude here. This is um, no fun, fun, and a lot good of good people. Yep. Good people and uh, exactly smiling people. But it, yes. it all has to do with good people. Yes. I love this game. That's I love the... Romania. <laughs> Emerging from the from the meat fumes, and it's time to to try the meat. I think they pack up in three. So can I put in a? Oh, look at that steam coming out. But I think this is the best. This is the best. He just brought out two whole plates of the meat right off the grill. You can see them just glistening. The juices are flowing. Oh, and that's a cabbage. Wow, there's sausage, there's bread, there's mustard. So you just poke them with a... Poke them with a with a toothpick because if you only poke it with one, it spins on you. So that's the that is the thing to do. Look at that juice. <laughs> <laughs> Just touch it with your fingers. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, you have to see when you it's, it is a sponge, a meat sponge of oily juices. Close up. Oh, you could you could squeeze it out. <laughs> oh wow. Sorry. Where are you? Oh wow. Where are you from? From Romania? Ah, for the <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's unbelievable. Thank you with much. Yeah, with much, okay. Okay, but that first bite, it's a mix of pork and beef. Like, so unbelievably fatty and juicy, but in the best kind of way. And then just like, it's cooked perfectly. That texture is just what makes a difference to me. The sponginess and the bounciness of the texture. It's like, unlike any other roll of meat you'll ever have. And eventually you just kind of like ditch the toothpicks all together. And just go in with your finger. Mm. Yeah, with the mustard it's wonderful too. It's, it's, um, it's like a sweet mustard rather than a spicy mustard, but yep. it goes together with the, the salty meat. Not up. Not up. I'm willing to call this the world's spongiest meat. Juiciest, spongiest meat. Oh man, the composition of those meats. They have not only perfected, perfected the recipe and the, but I think they've mastered the, the ratios is what it's all about. 
and the music just like <laughs> it makes you keep on eating. <laughs> Another sausage? Mm. Oh wow, the sausage is awesome too. You taste like that. A chili aroma to it. There's a bit of an herb in there. And then that skin is just like caramelized. And then just cabbage to chase to to flush down those juices. Along with. Oh the cabbage is wonderful too. So Thank much. you so much. Salud. 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 Okay, so the market in the morning was fantastic. The meat was incredible. Uh, from here, we're on our way to go eat lunch. Christian, tell me about this place. This is one of the uh, places in Bucharest, which is uh, inside the Herestro Park, uh, one of the top restaurants in Bucharest. And I wanted you to show also an experience of this kind of food in Bucharest. I made the chef yeah. the promise that he is going to use only but only uh, Romanian products. Hi, welcome. Thank you very much. Hello. Hey, hey. Nice, to meet you. nice to meet you. He's been cooking like around the world Japanese food for over 20 years. Um, and he's back in Bucharest now. He's the head chef at this restaurant and he prepares, uses using Romanian ingredients, prepares Japanese sushi and steaks and different dishes. So I'm very excited to see what he's gonna do for us for lunch today. Natural paracetamol. <laughs> yeah. Yes, be careful. It's and it's a type of tweak, tweak though. It's hot. Get a flu or something. Ah. You take a small shot. Norok. 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 But yeah, this is the tweaka, a Romanian liquor with fugu tail from Japan in it. Mm. Yeah, it's sweet. You can taste the fugu tail a little bit, but yeah, just a little bit. slight fishiness. It's like a dashi, almost like a. Yeah. You taste Natural like the seaweed dashi. a bit. Chutoro sashimi Chutoro. Nice. with uh, Romanian black truffles and Romanian white caviar. Borago, and it tastes a little bit of cucumber. Taste it, and, and by the way, all the herbs. And they all come from Christian's farm, microgreens in Romania, and he supplies a lot of the restaurants with uh, like such a bounty of different microgreens and herbs and flowers and yes, so many things. Oh yeah, it's juicy too, <laughs> but like like a sour cucumber almost. It's good. Mm. Well, immediately you smell the truffle, the truffle, the aromatic truffle. The caviar is on top. Mm. The chutoro. Oh, wow. Well, there's a lot of goodies. <laughs> goodies on this bite. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. The two total melts in your mouth. The fragrance of the truffle, the richness of the caviar, all in a single bite. Gone in a second. So many good things in one bite, in one roll. Uh, Romanian beef, carpaccio, raw beef. There's avocado in the middle, I believe. There's rice, there's uh, seaweed with fried foie gras on top and then sprinkled um, and it was shredded uh, truffle again. And then everything is, yeah, Romanian ingredients, he said, apart from the rice, which is from Japan. Mm. Oh wow. Oh yes. There are so many creamy and crunchy things all in one bite. The richness of the foie gras, the fragrance of the the truffle, and the beef and avocado both just melt in your mouth. Almost the same texture. takes the sturgeon and uses the liver to cook the liver, fills it into a hard-boiled egg with sturgeon caviar on top, all over a bed of microgreens from Christian. Oh, wow. I would gladly trade an egg yolk for sturgeon liver. It's so rich and creamy. Oh, and then with the herbs. A 
Romanian crayfish fried ball with a little bit of yuzu with black caviar on top with yogurt on the bottom and nizium. It's called nizium. Nasturium. 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 Yeah. One bite. I think. I think. Cut it because I don't want to. I don't want to take too much in one bite. Oh. Oh, wonderful. Just filled solid with crayfish. Next up, this is a beauty. This is an egg, Japanese egg custard with crayfish again, and then another dab of caviar. We are getting an amazing taste of caviar today in this meal of Romanian caviar. Well, that is rich and like you have the silkiness of the egg with the the strands of the crayfish with the richness of the the caviar. Sturgeon. Next dish is sturgeon, uh, marinated for 48 hours in miso. So the same technique that they use in Japan, but this is with sturgeon, local sturgeon, uh, shiitake mushrooms on, on top as well. That's just straight like butter. So this uh, it's also milojas. It's very popular in France. It's also popular in South America. It means the same thing. <clears throat> Dessert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Like layer upon layer of creaminess. Like pudding with layers with yeah, rich and creamy. Huge thank you, Chef Catalin. That was an, a, an extraordinary meal. I love how he has so much experience with Japanese food, but using Romanian ingredients. And again, his love, his passion, he puts his soul into the food. Awesome meal. Uh, from here, we we gotta go fast, actually. We're on our way to what is the most iconic building of Bucharest. Romanian Parliament. It is the second largest administrative building in the world. Three, I think she said 365,000 square meters. So it is massive, magnanimous. Um, and it was started by in the communist regime of Romania. Okay, so quick step into the auditorium and you can even just hear the acoustics picking up in your voice, but it is beautiful art deco style and the main one of the main sites here is the massive chandelier on the top made from transylvanian crystal and then in this this is the largest hall of the entire um the entire parliament which utilizes a million cubic meters or t cubic tons of marble that is a lot of marble in one hall. Okay, so this office room, conference room, was uh, built by Nikolai and was intended for his communist regime meetings. Uh, but what's impressive is the round circular table made from cherry wood, 60 seats all the way around, and a two-ton chandelier. Everything is designed in like the, the symmetrical pattern of this entire uh, structure and even the patterns all the patterns kind of relate to that that symmetric symmetry and this is one of the most spectacular halls of the entire parliament it's one of the biggest as well with the sky roof with the chandeliers uh, now they hold events here there's festivals there's parties there's weddings there's ceremonies That was that was quite a tour, quite an uh, quite a fascinating history to learn about. Magnificent to see on the inside. A must visit when you are in Bucharest. We are off now to walk around Old Town, the city center of Bucharest. But first, we're stopping at a place to have a coffee. Gershin says the best place for coffee. Floral, some tropical flavors, and so. Most complex.
Oh, it smells so good, and uh, he said to actually stir it up a little bit. That's going to enhance the flavor. It smells so good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's like dark chocolate. Dark Quality chocolate. Dark chocolate. Fruity. Fruity. Yeah. That's straight like nectar. Quick coffee. Coffee's so good. Yeah, the second one. But yeah, the coffee's so good. There was no way we could stop at one. So I got a, an Ethiopia this time. Mm. It's a bit spicier. Feeling much better after two shots of espresso. Ah, but just walking around, I'm loving the contrast of Bucharest. The old, the new. I mean, look at peer between those buildings. The domes, the lights, the reflections. It's such an artistic city, a different layers of architecture. Walking streets in the center, there's restaurants, there's bars, there's lots of places to hang out. Um, and it's, yeah, it is a nice environment with the old buildings on either side. Bucharest is sometimes known as the Little Paris. Kebab is one of the most popular foods in Bucharest that you'll find in Romania, especially shawarma, which is on the spit on the upright skewer of meat. So there was no way we could make a Bucharest food tour without trying some shawarma. I'm um, gonna get a beef shawarma and Romanian style, my first time Romanian style shawarma. So I've had shawarma in many places around the world. And shawarma really is one of the great gifts of food to the entire world. Uh, but excited to try the Romanian version of shawarma and what I immediately as he makes it it's it is it is a different style It is a different almost concept because I mean they made, they have the meat on the upright skewers They shave it off they put it into the bread um, But the difference I see is number one uh, you get to choose your sauce on top of that And you can get a such a big mix of like salad It's like an entire salad mixed with in your shawarma so once he has all the ingredients in his palm in the bread he actually uses these tongs and just like flips everything and mixes everything so the salad mixes with the sauce, mixes with the meat. It's all like mingled in there. Um, that's a technique that I've only seen in Romania for shawarma. Yes, I think so. Right? Uh, do you want chili? Chili? Uh, I don't think it's a good idea. You can have on the side. Yeah. Okay. So you put the roshi and they use the separate. Mix is pretty cool. That's pretty decently heavy. And they actually kind of wrap it in like a plastic instead of a paper because I know it's going to get saucy. What is the technique, guys? This is one shawarma where you don't want to unwrap it all the way, right? No, you want to just do. slowly unwrap it as you keep on eating it? Otherwise. Yes, it looks to to be of that of that school of shawarma. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Oh that's awesome. And the sauce is like really creamy, almost like sour creamy. And again, I mean you notice that on your first bite how they mix everything so that the sauce is just flowing the Everything's mingled, the vegetables are are in between. Oh nice, some extra chilies on the side. But yeah, that is seriously tasty. Oh, fries and chilies. Nicely done, Nasim. This reminds me of that, the six pack of beer we had earlier today. <laughs> six pack of chilies. Oh, that chili is amazing. A little bit spicy, but like the juicy chilliness that comes out of it is, wow. Okay, that needs to be followed with another bite. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is something that would be good at every hour of the day, 24 hours a day. Mm. All right, you spilled some onions on that. And classic drink, out of like a salty yogurt.
That is refreshing. Oh, it's not too salty. More like a, tastes like more like a natural yogurt. Nice how they provide baby wipes. Because your hands are gonna get oily. Romanian shawarma complete. That was delicious. And again, their technique, their style, the mix of vegetables, I think that's what makes it. And that's the Romanian style that yeah, that is a, a must eat in Bucharest. And there's just, just like kebab shops, shawarma shops all over Bucharest. Um, ah, that was satisfying. That was a great pre-dinner snack. For dinner tonight, we are at, this is one of the most legendary, one of the most historical, one of the most well-known Romanian restaurants in all of Bucharest. Oh, coming in the round door right now. Okay, here you go. Um, but this is a historical restaurant and it is just absolutely packed all the way from the entire from the entire terrace all the way inside and it's a uh, it's actually one of these restaurants that's a piece of art. It's a living museum of a restaurant. I guess what makes it also is just that the entire floor is just packed. And they serve, so they still do serve traditional Romanian food here. Okay, the first round of appetizers, the pre-meal has arrived, the different dips, the salads, the, the mandatory Romanian pork plate, the hams, the salamis. The, there's cheeses, the liver paste, the and I, what I what I love about it is it's always there's vegetables included, also always cucumber, tomato, and the full stocks of green onion. Um, what type of beans is it? enjoyed the stocks of green onions and again one of my favorite things in Romania is the zakuska which is the it's a mix of like roasted eggplant roasted peppers uh, made into a paste that goes especially good with bread oh wonderful oh yeah the zakuska always good and so many different combinations of zakuska as well Okay, that's kind of like a nose block. Some of the main dishes have arrived. Oh wow, massive platters of meat. There's like a mixed grill, different sausages, different lamb chops. Um, there's uh, an entire tray more of meat. Oh, I believe we've had some meat already today. Um, and then it looks like an entire pork fried pork leg with polenta. Yeah, that is seriously Romanian meat specialties on platters here. chilies that we got, actually a whole plate of chilies, different types of chilies that we got at the market earlier this morning. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, the sweetness of that one. This one I believe is an entire pork leg made into a ham. It looks smoked. You can see that pink color. Wow. Yes. That is like straight an entire leg of ham on a plate. What's that going on? Lamb chop. Oh yes. Oh that's wonderful. The Romanian lamb.
hotel after another and this is actually the final day of my trip to Romania um, again what a finale what a day of touring around Bucharest and about or today was really about the diversity because we were at the market first uh, the meat that was probably the highlight of my day but then the amazing uh, meal but uh, Japanese style but using uh, Romanian ingredients by Chef Catalin and then oh the shawarma and then walking around seeing some of the sights of Bucharest and then finishing with a grand like a legendary meal restaurant but also a historical location and a, a museum of a restaurant uh, today yeah another fantastic day and I want to say a massive thank you for this entire trip uh, to Nassim who was really he was the one who invited me to Romania he planned the entire trip um, and he did a fantastic job so big thank you to Nassim and to Christian and to Kalin and if you haven't seen all of the videos from this Romania food and travel series I'll have the link in the description box you can click that link watch all of the videos uh, it's yeah what a trip it's been and I want to say a big thank you to you for watching please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave a comment below I'd love to hear from you and if you're not already subscribed click subscribe click the little bell icon and then that way you'll get notified of the next video that I publish thanks again for watching and see you on the next video